Pierce County deputies helped clear out a homeless encampment in Parkland today. Residents say the self-titled Wonderland encampment expanded quickly. And that some people at the camp set up semi-permanent housing. King 5's Lionel Donovan is in Parkland tonight with more on the removal. Lionel. Good evening. Well, we've been seeing people coming in and out of the encampment throughout the day, but Pierce County Sheriff's Department says that 60 people were here when deputies showed up early this morning. Now, eight people were arrested on outstanding warrants, but two were sent to local hospitals for various medical conditions. Meanwhile, Pierce County Council Member Janie Hitchens says she wonders about where some of these residents will go next. This is kind of where we stayed. I had this little area. Jeffrey Brown says when he first heard that he'd have to leave the encampment on 149th Street in Parkland, he didn't take it seriously. But that all changed this morning. A couple weeks ago, they said that they were going to come through and they were going to just uh, boot everyone out the next day or give us give us like three day notices. And uh, then nothing came of it. So for like three weeks, we thought that it was just coming through, getting our numbers. And then this morning we got a rude awakening. Pierce County deputies let the residents of the Wonderland encampment know that if they stay, they would be arrested for trespassing. The Sheriff's Department says it's working with the property owners to help clear out the piles of debris. Every story is different. Pierce County Council Member Janie Hitchens says that while encampments aren't new in Parkland, the size and position of the encampment was troubling for residents. We were getting a lot of concerned citizens that were just frustrated and upset that something wasn't being done which led to calls for a sweep of the area. But Hitchin isn't convinced that's the most effective approach. If we continue to sweep without a planned destination, without a place for them to go, they just continue to splinter off into smaller and smaller groups, set up new encampments, and the process starts over. Put everything in a shopping cart in from a house, and you're just like me. But Brown says he's already planned his next move. I'm going to try to get into one of the programs, get into a detox facility, and maybe get into some uh, shared living. Now, I reached out to the property owner earlier today, and she told me that the process of getting this space cleared has been long and exhausted. She also added that there are currently no plans for this space, but the priority is to make sure that everyone is safe. But for now, we're live in Parkland. Lionel Donovan, King 5 News. In Seattle, a community meeting is going to be held tomorrow to discuss a planned expansion of a homeless shelter near Soto and the Chinatown International District. It's being held at Hinghei Park from 5 to 6.30. The King County Council approved the expansion in May, but some community members are upset about what they call a lack of transparency. The shelter would house nearly 500 people, provide space for RVs, and a sobering 